This one I like to call Survival Island on steroids. Hey, what's going on guys? It's Pat and welcome back to another mod showcase and today we're checking out the fun world mod So basically what this mod does it adds in brand new generation into Minecraft So when you start a brand new world, there's a bunch of really cool options now You can start your own survival island with like a bunch of different cool ways to do it right now We're in the tropics. It looks awesome too, doesn't it? And not only that there's like a sky block There's like crazy worlds all kinds of stuff if you guys are pumped for this one Definitely crush up that like button and subscribe for more crazy content like this and let's do this So like I said, this is a survival island and this one is the tropical version It's got like cool trees and everything you need to survive. There's like one cactus Poor forever alone cactus down there, but pretty much everything you need here There's like pumpkins melons all kinds of stuff and honestly, it looks awesome in my opinion. I mean, normally for like maps like this, you actually have to download a map. But now, you can have your own survival island all set up. Even Bombie's like chilling on top of a tree right now. So basically, when you start a new world, you go to world type, smack this until you get to fun world generator. Hit customize, and this is where the options are. So if I go to survival island, check this out. We have default. This is normal, guys. Normal right now. We're on tropical. We could do paradise. This is absolutely amazing This is like so cool for minecraft like so many different cool worlds you can generate and have fun with so let's check this one out This one I like to call survival island on steroids. So check this out This is seriously a giant survival island. It looks so good, too There's like jungle trees and all kinds of stuff up there so this one is a paradise to live on. Finding a seed that's good for something like this is nearly impossible. So this is perfect for someone looking for like an amazing survival island that loves to build stuff. Because normally there's no room. In this one, you could have some kind of like crazy theme park or do anything you want with it. It really does look sick. The cool thing about default is I can change the size. It could be like super small. It could be normal. It could be large. Let's go like really tiny. Let's try this one. I uh, done generate my new world. And this is seriously a survival island. The smallest version you've ever seen in your life. Okay, so here we are. A brand new world. We've got a tree. We have um, a cactus. We got some sugar cane right there. And check this out. You need this. It actually does generate a chest for you with some stuff you need to survive. So over here we got some mushrooms, we've got some paper, and we got some seeds. So as you can see, you can generate these in all different kinds of sizes and really get anything you want to start your world. We're going sky dimension. So with this one, even if you have mods installed to add in brand new biomes, it does work. So all you have to do is click on this, vanilla plus mods, and it's going to add in every single biome in the sky. And if you don't want to add them, just go vanilla like that. Right now I have none installed, so it doesn't really matter which I choose. So let's go with this, hit done, and get a brand new world. All right, guys, we're here. This is a sky dimension. It generates every biome in the sky. It's like the aether. So be careful. Don't like, you know, fall off. It's going to be dangerous, but traveling around, everything just looks so cool. It's going to be a little bit tough to get across here, obviously. This is very dangerous. As you know, this is probably just going to fall down if I smack it. Oh, we got to try this. Let's smack that. Oh, be so careful with the sand. So this is a desert that is actually floating in the air. So every single biome is going to be here. It's going to be tough to get around, but I feel like it just looks so amazing when you build like up in the sky like this. So this is like sky block on steroids. It's absolutely amazing. You can travel around and explore. It's got everything normal Minecraft does, except underneath you is the void. So be very careful. If you're playing with friends, trolling is going to be amazing for this one though. It's like sheep up here. Lots of cool stuff around as you can tell. Next up, we're checking out Survival Skyland. So this is like sky block, except much bigger obviously. So right now we have it on default. We can go to snow and we can go to jungle. So these are all pretty much the same. It's just going to change how it looks. So let's make it cool. Let's go with, I wish it was like jungle. Let's go snow. Let's go with that and let's check it out. So this in front of us is a giant island in the sky. We have the snow version. It's got everything we need to survive. There's caves and stuff in here. There is, as you can see, melons right there. Mobs and stuff are around. And once again, be careful. You know, you can fall off this. It's like a giant sky block. Oh, and check this out. I totally forgot about this. This is actually the same in the sky world as well, the sky dimension. So if you want to find a dungeon, it's actually underneath and it's attached by iron bars. So if you go in here, I'm actually going to get night vision real quick. All right, now we can see. So basically, when you get down here, there's spawners on top. These are dungeons. It's the same way in the sky dimension. So if you jump down here, I'm going to try not to fall to the void right now and embarrass myself. 
Look at all these mobs. Check this out. In the chest, tons of cool items. And this is actually how you get to the end, which can happen, so keep that in mind. You can find an end portal in one of these dungeons, which I found before accidentally. So check this out. We have lava buckets, all kinds of cool stuff. So if you're traveling around and you're underneath this somehow, like building a bridge or something, you're going to see tons and tons of dungeons. They're super obvious. You could actually just dig down and kind of just like jump into it if you want to, too. Let's check out one more chest in here. Let's do it. Okay, totally meant to do that. It was on purpose. We got lava. We got diamond horse armor and a bunch of cool items. Oh, here we go. I actually found it. So this is the end portal. You actually find it underneath the ground like this. So kind of cool. I like how they set that up. Plus, you can see there's like ice spikes down here. Lava and water seem to be, you know, coming down a little bit. It's pretty bad. Let's take one more quick look. So basically, giant island. And if you want to find a dungeon, you can. It's going to be pretty obvious where the end portal is because this isn't the biggest world in the world. But I love how it's set up. In front of us is the jungle version of this. Once again, it looks so cool. So, yeah, it's pretty much the same thing, except the trees look amazing. You could have some kind of, like, cool tree house or something like that. Also, guys, if you were curious, the default version is basically like a forest, as you can see right here. So there is, like, a cool spot on top, actually. It's, like, a nice flat spot to build, like, a gigantic mansion that, like, overlooks everything from the sky. The last one we're checking out is Planetoids. And you may have actually seen me review the Planetoids mod. This is super similar. There's two different versions. You could have water or no water. Basically, underneath you is either the void or it's water. Honestly, it's up to you on that. If you want to feel like you're in outer space, go without water. If you don't want to die, go with water. I'm going to go with water. It's pretty much the same thing anyway. So let's generate it and check it out. I gotta say, this is one crazy world to live in. So pretty much all the blocks are going to be giant planets like this. So this is actually a tree block. Trees will not grow on the dirt ones. This is a tree right here. So this is what you need to do. Dig into it like a beast. It's filled with wood. That is amazing. So you can get tons of wood like that. I believe in these ones there's nothing. Let's check it out really quick. Is there anything inside here? I don't think so. So most of these are actually all the same block. Check this out. Tons and tons of glowstone right here. So you can go mining. I'll show you guys in a second. So these ones filled with stone. So this is what you have to do. Just dig into this. This is like the weirdest mining trip ever. Complete redstone. Each one is a single kind of ore. So we do have a bunch here. Let's check out a few of them. Let's do it. See if we can find diamonds. Can we do it? Gravel. That one is freaking terrible. And below us, as you can tell, is complete water. If you don't go this route, it's going to be the void. We got iron there. So yeah, it's got pretty much every block. All you have to do is make a bunch of... um. You have no choice on this. You must make bridges or fly with some kind of mod. Because seriously, getting around in this is going to be rough. With the water, you could actually swim. But if you go the other route with the void, it's going to be painfully hard to get through all this. As you can tell, we have pretty much everything here. We've got ore. We've got trees. We've got deserts. Look at this. Fall down. It's going to happen. Let me grab this one. Bam. Look at that. You control people if you're with friends and they're on top of this. Oh, that is so sick. The whole thing just went down. But check this out, guys. You're actually going to find water and lava like this, too. So look at that. It is a planet of lava in front of us. I believe there are water ones. They might not generate if you go out the water world. But that is how you're going to find that. And yeah, this is going to make a really interesting survival. As you saw before, you can customize the island to be any size. So I'm on the giant survival island, ending it here in case you wanted to see how that looked. So a lot bigger. But once again, we do have this chest over here. Check it out. Same stuff in there. So really cool. I'm really liking this mod, guys. That's pretty much all there is to show, though. Tons of different ways to generate your world. If you want to check this out, the download, as always, will be in the description. And if you enjoyed the review and the commentary, definitely crush that like button and subscribe. It would mean so much to me, guys. It really would. And I'll see you next time. Peace out.